You can drive a screw with or without drilling a pilot hole first. A lot of it depends upon the type of screw you use and the project you're building. Of course, there's nothing wrong with drilling a pilot hole every single time, if you aren't sure. For shop projects or larger construction projects, such as this workbench I made from two by fours, I don't bother drilling pilot holes. You can just drive the screws right into the lumber. It's fast and efficient. But for nicer woodworking projects, you run the risk of splitting the wood if you don't drill holes first, especially near the end of a board. Drilling a pilot hole lets the threads of the screw cut into the walls of the hole rather than forcing the fibers of the wood apart. This creates a stronger connection. Plus, having a hole will help keep the screw driving in straight. To drill a pilot hole, select a drill bit that's the same diameter as the shank of the screw that you're gonna use. Press the side of the drill bit against your finger to keep it from wandering and slowly squeeze the trigger to get it started. After you've drilled deep enough, keep the bit spinning as you back it out. If you want the head of the screw to be flush with the face of the wood, use a flat head screw. That's one that has a flat top and beveled or tapered sides on the head. Use a countersink or a countersink bit to add a beveled recess in the surface of the wood that the head of the screw can fit into. This will give your project a real professional appearance. I like to drive screws using an impact driver. You could also use a drill, or if you really like twisting stuff by hand, you could use a regular old screwdriver. Set the point of the screw into the hole, holding it as perpendicular as you can with your fingertips and slowly pull the trigger to twist it in. If you have a real tiny screw or you've got big fingers, you can use a pair of needle nose pliers to hold the screw in place to help get it started. When you've got the driver in place, just twist the screw in and stop when it's fully seated. To learn more about impact drivers and drills and different types of screws, be sure to check out my other woodworking basics videos. Thanks for watching everybody.